Good Friday evening, everybody. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a pretty sweet welding table to me. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, ring my bell, get my notifications, throw me a thumbs up, and leave a question or comment below so that way I know who you are. So you're probably thinking I should probably explain myself. Well, <clears throat> this hoist is no longer in serviceable condition. Um, it's just not safe to lift heavy trucks on anymore. So, the new one's sitting over there, and I get the old one for doing the labor to remove it. So, works out good for everybody. So, we're, the only thing I don't get is the jacks. We're going to take the jacks out of here, store them away, and the rest of this has got to go on the trailer, hopefully tonight, because the weather is supposed to be kind of inclement this weekend, and I'd like to get the stuff in the shop before it snows. So that way, we can get to working on this welding table. The redesigned welding table by the way so i don't know if you guys have ever in removed and or installed a hoist before but we'll take you through the removal process i don't know how much the boss is going to let me record on the installation side of it but because i'm doing the installation during work time so i think this will work out pretty well as a welding table Obviously, we won't be power up and down all that. I'm not installing this in the shop as a hoist. I'm going to cut this thing apart and use pieces of it to make a welding table. Because if it was serviceable in service as a hoist, obviously, I wouldn't be getting it for free. So, biggest reason is these jack rails back here are pretty well gone. You can see on that back corner, if you look close, where it started peeling away. And if you look down in here... Welcome to Minnesota. That's what supports a uh, 8,000 pound vehicle. I don't think so. So, my plan is to take these ramps and probably cut them in half, one of them anyway, spin it around, take that rail off, and sandwich that thing together. These are 16 feet long, 20 inches wide, so I can make a table that's 8 feet long, 40 inches wide, and it'd be far heavier than the material I was using before so I got the hoist all the way up in the air for the folks that don't know how a hoist works I'll kind of give you a look underneath here you can see the hydraulic cylinder that pulls on the cables oops sorry that pulls on the cables that run through a system of pulleys and that's what's used to lift this thing up we got about a six foot hydraulic cylinder underneath here and you can see the pulleys Go to each post. This is a floating ramp style. So that ramp can actually slide in. It can actually slide all the way over to, and touch this ramp if you want it to. So you can adjust for different width vehicles. Um, we got, it's electric over hydraulic, obviously. There's your power unit, electric hydraulic unit, and then your reservoir. Um, air to release the locks. There are safety locks on this. So if a cable breaks, which has happened. Um, I had the cable break on this hoist on me and you know, drop to a lock and that way the vehicle doesn't come crashing all the way down to the ground. So that's kind of a quick view of how it works. Um, it's electric over hydraulic and it's a cable pulley system that lifts your vehicle up and down. So I'm gonna get to tearing this thing apart.
Okay, cables are there, ramps are there. That drive on side is over there. We got the air disconnected, the hydraulic hose is disconnected. A little more torch work. We'll have this sucker licked. Well, and just like that, hoist is gone. I did leave this here. I left this column here for the time being to uh, support the airline and electric line coming in as we uh, get in the next week and start putting the hoist in. I will uh, jerk that out of there, just throw it in the back of my truck. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to go strap the trailer down and GTFO. It's 20 after 11. If you guys like what we're doing, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. You know somebody who might like it? Send it to them. I'm going to head home and get a bite to eat because I haven't had any supper yet. And let's face it, I'm wasting away. We'll see you guys again next time.